Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I am talking about how your reality is a result of your story, as in all of it. It is all your story and I want to explain exactly what I mean by that, so stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi. I am a qualified life coach and author. I am also super passionate about the amazing teachings of the Law of Assumption as originally taught by the wonderful Neville Goddard. It is the stories we tell that create our life. So if you want to change your life, then you have to change the story. And if you want to create the most amazing life, you need to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that is where the Law of Assumption can help. Since finding these teachings, I'm now telling myself better stories and I want to help you to do the same. If you would like further support with telling yourself better stories, I am available for one-to-one -one coaching and email coaching. Those details are in the box below. Or if you would just like to stay in touch, I'm on Instagram and those details are in the box below as well. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so today I am talking about how your reality is a result of your story. And by that I mean all of it. It's all your story if it is in your movie and reality is your movie. This whole experience is just a holographic experience we're all having and we're all having different experiences uh, which is why everything is up for change. So everything that comes into your awareness through your reality is a part of your movie and therefore it's a result of your story, the story that you're telling about each area of your life. It is all your story including other people's stories. I know that sounds like a big piece of pie to chew off, if that's the saying, I just made that up. But I get it, I get that this stuff is big, I get that it's mind bending, and I've had my mind blown numerous times and still pretty much every day it continues to get blown because this stuff is so incredible and so mind blowing and it is just so opposite to how we were brought up and how we were taught that the world works. But thanks to these teachings, once you come to really understand the truth of them and put them into practice and test it out for yourself so that you can see it reflected back and you can go, oh my God, there is something to this. Uh, this is how life works and actually I am the God of my reality and I can actually influence reality through my consciousness by choosing the stories that I'm telling myself. Then you can really start to understand how, yes, everything that shows up in your reality is a result of a story that you have held in consciousness, including somebody else's apparent story. Because if that person is showing up in your reality, they are part of your movie, they're a supporting character, you have cast them and you've given them a script and they're reflecting that script back in the form of what you think is their story and has nothing to do with you. And I want to give you an example, a wonderful example. I caught up with a really uh, wonderful longtime friend of mine this morning. He was sharing with me some of the difficulties that he has been facing in recent times in relationship to his relationship uh, because his wife is from a different country and they've been married for some time and his wife uh, has decided some time ago that she would like to go back to her home country and they have a couple of kids and he doesn't want to go to that country and she is adamant that she wants to go back and so they are experiencing some challenges in their relationship because what do you do in that situation? So I was just in my mind as he was sharing this, uh, I was thinking, oh my God, like you can change this story. Like now that I know this, now that I understand the law of assumption, all I'm thinking when I hear this is like, it doesn't matter. You can change it. Like if you decide, if you assume the responsibility of being the creator of your reality and that everything that comes into your reality is a result of consciousness. Uh, if you assume and take on that responsibility because that's the deal, you kind of have to accept responsibility uh, for your reality, then everything and anything is up for change. And so as the conversation, you know, I didn't just jump into this, I'm, I'm trying to hold myself back <laughs> from this, but it's really hard. So as we um, continued chatting and the conversation continued over a couple of hours, um, I eventually said, you know, 
it doesn't have to be this way. You can actually change this story. And he said, well, what do you mean? This is her story. She wants to go back to her country. Eventually, I kind of got around to saying, well, actually, no, she is a character in your movie. And the story that she's reflecting back is actually a story that you've been holding in consciousness or that you are holding in consciousness and she's just reflecting that back and and for a while he was just like what like i don't get that this is her story i don't want to go to the country i don't want to go um to that country uh, i want to stay here i'm happy here and i want my kids to stay here and i want to be with her and i want her to stay here as well and i want for our family to be together be together and i was like wow that's awesome you know exactly what you want so that's that's step one then it becomes a case of actually telling yourself that story and it did take a little while but we we got got there actually where i said you have a story uh that she wants to go back to her country and that story has probably been there for a really long time and it's now showing up in your reality but that story is yours and you've been holding it in your consciousness and it's getting reflected back it came up that yes that was a fear he had had right at the beginning of the relationship before they had got married like way at the very beginning one of the issues was that she might one day want to go back to her home country and that was um a fear that he had way back then. That storyline has been running and that story has been in his consciousness this whole time, which is why all the stories that you're seeing in others and is showing up in your movie, that's a story that you're holding in consciousness. Once he could see that that had actually, that was a story that he had been telling himself that maybe one day she would want to go back to her country and that was a fear that he'd had, I said, cool, now that you can see that you've just created this story in her and she's just reflecting it back, you can change the story. And then it was a case of, yeah, but then aren't I manipulating her? And no, this is not about manipulation. This is about wanting everyone in your movie to be happy. And if she's happy, you're creating the story that she's happy in your movie and she's happy here. There's no manipulation. Also, she's running her own movie in which you're a cast, you're a supporting character in her movie. Who's to say there's not a infinite number of realities occurring here and now at the same time. Like we don't know how this universe works. We don't know how this multiverse works. We are part of, we're as much of the audience to our own movies and to these re realities as we are the creators and the producers and the writers and directors and actors in them. We're everything in them. We're the casting directors, we're the audience, as in we're sitting back and we're watching our own movie going, well, I wonder what's going to happen next. Like, it's, the whole thing's phenomenal. We can't possibly get our minds around exactly how it all works. And it's not our job to. We'll never figure it out. We're not meant to figure it out. We're just meant to enjoy this experience and expand into more and more and more and higher and higher and higher states of consciousness so we can have these experiences of whatever it is that we desire knowing that everyone's having their own experience in their own movie so no one's missing out no one's losing anything if you decide that this is the story that you want to play out and this person's in your reality and this is the story that you're deciding for as, as long as there's a little bit of a caveat with this is that you're holding people in the highest ideals for them as well. So we're not out about to manipulate people into misery because whatever we wish for somebody else is actually what we experience because everyone is you pushed out. So everyone is a reflection of the stories that you're telling. So we only ever want to be telling the best stories for ourselves and the best stories for others. And if you're happy with, you know, you, your family is happy and together and living in this beautiful country and everybody's happy, that is a good movie. That's a great story to be telling because everyone is elevated as a result of it. So don't worry about um, whether somebody, whether you're impinging on somebody's free will. They are in their own movie. They are the stars. They are the superstars of their own movie. They are the creators of their own movie and they are having their experience too. And I don't know, I cannot begin to explain how all of this works. I don't know. 
I just know that these principles are true and whatever story that you're telling will get reflected back in your reality through the situation, circumstances and the people. So you just want to be telling the best story for yourself uh, and for everyone in your movie, just knowing that your reality has to reflect that back. So we had a wonderful chat and my wonderful friend said um, at the end that, yeah, okay, cool, I'm going to go and change this story that I've got running. So he could see that he had a, a negative story running that she wanted to go and live in another country and he could see how that was being reflected back through her in his movie. So he's off, he's writing another story. Awesome. And because he's in my movie, I'm also writing that script for them as well uh, and seeing them happy and as a family and living where it is they want to live and to be happy and everybody's happy because that's my movie as well. It can get a little bit like I get how this can sound all really warped and crazy um, but again with anything like any of these teachings test it out for yourself you are the creators of your reality whatever you assume to be true will be true so if this is, doesn't sound right to you and it won't be but if you think oh wow this sounds really interesting I might give this a go and see what happens uh, and I'm willing to keep an open mind about this, then awesome. Go and test it out and just have a play with it. Like literally you have nothing to lose and only everything to gain. Please remember, you are the creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director and the actor in your movie. Whatever you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too and you will have an amazing life and that is my wish for you. So thank you for listening. If you would like to share this with family and friends, that would be great. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd love to have you and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Bye.